Hello BookTube. Uh, I'm not so sure how that previous um, video was successful, how successful it was. Uh, I tried a couple times to do it. Um, I had all these ideas uh, to deal with bibliography. Uh, I think one of the things I should have done in my uh, newbie tag where it says, you know, um, uh, it asks uh, challenges. To keep things short um, is very difficult because there's so much information um, to deal with a lot of subjects and uh, I found it very very difficult so um, so I'm not sure how successful that was uh, the other part that I was going to talk about which is, is bibliography related it's libraries in the sense of private libraries that's something that I found uh, recently is a whole it's almost like a genre of uh, separate genre of nonfiction uh, is books that people have written uh, with a listing of books they think uh, should be in a private library. I find these fa fascinating. Um, the earliest I have is by H.B. Wheatley. It's How to Form a Library. Um, and it's from 1896, I think, or 1886, sorry. Uh, 1886. And it's part of a series called The Book Lover's Library. Edited by Henry B. Wheatley, the author of this one. And it looks, the, the other books look interesting too. Uh, I've yet to track those down. Uh, well, I've, I've seen titles and they, they sound interesting. But it's basically, it'll be, uh, he it, it goes through and um, how to form a library, how to form a, a personal library. Um, and then at the end, um, and then. Well, he goes through as well as a chapter on how people have done it, uh, how to go about buying books, and then a little brief thing about uh, public libraries, and then, you know, other, uh, you know, specific uh, private libraries. And then, he, then he's got a listing of books to put in your library, uh, what he thinks is are, are the books that you should have. And, yeah, it's just, it, that's about... That's practically half the book, I think. He goes, you know, subject matter, drama, um, uh, all sorts of things, general. Uh, and he also, he's, he's he, he, getting back to bibliographies, that you should have some bibliographies in a good library. Um, yeah, he just goes through. And uh, for poetry, um, all sorts of things. And it's, it, it's a fascinating read. Uh, and then um, I picked up another one. Uh, it's... It's uh, Literary Taste by Arnold Bennett, um, the Arnold Bennett of um, Five Towns. Uh, and it's just a little book. It's, just, it's a slim little book. Uh, and it's what he, he says is sort of the aim of creating literary taste. Um, and, again, he's got a listing of books and how much you should pay for it to to create an English person's library, Englishman's library. Um, and that's a big a big part of it. And it's just, it's a fun it's a fun read going through that one. And then a more, a newer one is An English Library, A Bookman's Guy, Guide uh, F. Seymour Smith. Um, this is a later publication in the 60s. This is uh, a Reader's Union, uh, so it's a, it's a it's a book club uh, edition in 1964, but it's a revised and enlarged edition. I think it was originally done um, sometime during the Second World War or after. But again, it, it, it's it, it's a more detailed. But he goes through uh, a listing of of books uh, to have in your own library, um, and where what he thinks are the ones to have. And, you know, to try to do it cheaply as possible. And he mentions the Everyman uh, library books, which at that time were cheap, uh, a cheap way. There were a thousand books. And the idea was that if you had those thousand Everyman libraries, uh, Everyman books, then you had a complete library uh, that you'd ever need. Um, and, and there's been so much of this. I think there's, once I looked into this, there's dozens and dozens and dozens of these things have been written over the years of of who uh 
who think that this these books should be in a library and some of them are you know the the, the, the strength is in er, other areas like classics greek and roman classics and others uh it's hard to have any fiction in at all uh this one here the english an english uh library a bookman's guide um it was owned by someone who basically went through and annotated which i didn't realize this i ordered this online uh but the person had annotated it uh, with check marks uh, throughout a books, I'm assuming they have picked up and added to their own library and made additions uh, or corrections for the additions that uh, they have purchased. But it just goes on and on and on uh, with uh, page after page of of books that should be in the library. Oh, it's nice to see here they've got John Clare, uh, which is one of my favorite uh, poets. Um. But yeah, it just it, it, it's it's a fascinating thing because, it, like I say, it's I think it's related to bibliography in the sense of that it is a listing of books uh, specifically for for a library, uh, and, and and this this one more so because it does give a description of the books. It doesn't go into you know details; it's a checklist, but it does give uh, at times a brief summary of whatever the book is about. Uh, and, uh, anytime I see these now, I'm going to pick them up. I only have three, uh, at the moment. Uh, it's not that I'm going to go out and search them on the internet, but definitely if I, if I see them out, um, out and about, uh, uh, you know, bookshops, charity, uh, even library, uh, library sales, uh, I'll definitely pick them up. But anyway, that was another little, um, and again, it's, I thought I'd be able to do this in about five minutes, uh, um, but uh, it's coming up to seven, but that's we'll end it there. And I think that'll be it for the bibliography sort of uh, type of thing, uh, because uh, it, it's the other stuff is, is just a little too esoteric, I think. Um, catalogs from, from like John Ryland's library. But anyway, uh, if anybody is interested in this type of thing, do let me know if, if they've got books like this. It, uh, you know, shout out in the um, in the comments. I'd be interested to know about other other editions of of what we should have in a library, uh, or somebody's thoughts of it. And it's always interesting to see. Anyway, I will see you later. Bye.